we're all going to whisper. It's going to suck for a mic. It's going to suck for a microphone. I will Can you uh, slate for the audio, please? Yes. Um, hi, my name is Tati Gabrielle. Your makeup's amazing. Thank you. Oh my God, and, and who do you play? Um, and I play Kylie Kane. Is that a Robin? She, I, in this, I guess, technically, no, she's not a Robin, but she is an Elseworlds mashup of a few of the Robins from the comic book. Um, so she's a mashup of Tim Drake, Cassandra Kane, and Carrie Kelly. That's my favorite Robin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, she, um, she does, I, I guess, carry a similar role for Bruce in the way that she offers him a, like she she is his moral compass sort of his conscience she um keeps him grounded and keeps him keeps his his humanitarian at the forefront um but they also they offer each other i think a, a shoulder to lean on having shared similar struggles or similar uh um struggles in their in their past and carrying sort of similar pains um they yeah, just offer each other a shoulder to lean on. Um, and I think that Bruce sees her as a good contender to take over the bat mantle when he no longer can. Yeah. Was this like a darker, more intense story than, you know, compared to, say, Owl House? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, um, definitely. Um, it was, it, it definitely took a different uh, approach to the voicing. Um, it, I felt felt like I through the preparation of it I definitely used more of my like on set sort of preparation to tackle this um, due to the the gravity and, and weight that this movie carries so yeah uh, I'm related but I think Willow is just so adorable Thanks. on Owl House <laughs> what, what's like your favorite thing about Willow um I just love how much heart Willow has um and I love her character arc through the series how she like she I think is just the, how much she grows um, and sort of comes out of her shell um, and finds her own power, I think, is really beautiful and I think is really, like, hopefully, really inspiring to kids. Yeah. Do you prefer voice acting or live acting? What do you like better? What's different? Too? I can't really say that I like one more than the other because they do offer very different things. Like live action is, is of course, super cool to you know get in costume, be in a world, like. But I like voiceover because, well, one, I was a super big like cartoon fan when I was little. I wanted to be an animator before I wanted to be an actor. That's cool. Um, yeah, and so I I like the way that voiceover acting offers more play with the imagination um, because like you know they animate after we record so when you're in the booth you have to picture the whole world and sort of and to in order to be present um, so I really like that challenge um, and that like fun brain game yeah are you an actor because you couldn't draw no, oh. it was actually so. <laughs> like I, like I, I almost would like, but like, don't come for me. me. But no, it was actually like so. I went to performing arts school when I was when I was young, um, for middle and high school. Um, that it was an audition based school, so I had audi had to audition to get in, and I was gonna audition for both visual and theater. Um, but I serendipitously forgot my sketchbook at my audition, so I was only able to audition for theater. Um, so I always say, like, the universe sort of chose my path. Like, yeah, yeah. I still draw, but, like, and I, and I, and I took up painting, actually, too, over the pandemic. Um, so, yeah, so now just, like, I guess, uh, hobby and a pastime, but I may, like, bust out something with it. Wait for yeah. it. <laughs> Do you have a specific art form that you prefer? Like, do you like more modern, or like, do you have a, a very like a, a painter that you really look up to? That um, well, Basquiat is my favorite um, painter. Um, my I have a parrot. He's named after him. Um, yeah, I, I I like and I, I love Basquiat because of the way that he. It, his paintings are very much you see his inner mind on the canvas. Like there is no. There's not much refinement about it. There's not a, a, a lot of meticulous, I think, going about it. He, he very much was like, okay, this is what I'm feeling and, and this is, is, is the reflection of it. Um, and that just always really spoke to me and this, the, the chaoticness of his mind very much spoke to me and I feel like I related to. Um, so yeah. That yeah. could be a fun animation type of. You know. It would be. Yeah. It actually really would be. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. 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 So, thank you. I get one a year. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Now I'm done. This is how you break into the field. Right. Like, uh, so make sure to give you credits. <laughs> so how much of a deep dive, if any, um, did you do in the source material or DC um, universe um, kind of preparing for the role? Um, I didn't do like a super deep dive. Um, I did like very much want to look into the three characters that she was built from mm -hmm. um, just to give me a... I guess sort of a direction um, or a, 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 a field guide, mm -hmm. but I also very much wanted to take the liberty of Kylie being a new character to this and wanted to, yeah, see what see what I could offer and what I could bring. Because um, I can get, if I if I look too much at something, I, I'm guilty of, my brain will then start sort of spinning out and overthinking about things and wanting to, and I'm like, I can't do that to myself. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I tried to be just as as genuine as, as I could after reading the script and, and understanding the understanding the assignment essentially. Um, I just wanted to, to, to be as honest and genuine as I could be. So what other uh, intellectual properties are you into? Or like, are you more into superheroes or Star Wars, Lord of the Rings? Like, what are you into the most? Um, I think I'm into superheroes the most. Um, just cause ever since I was little, I had this, I thought two things. I either thought I was an alien or I thought I was a mutant. Um, and so, um, but like I know, like this is technically like against DC, but I was a big X Men fan, like when I was young, and Wrong time. but I just like secrets, secrets. Um, but just like I always, I just more than anything with all superheroes, I really liked the or related to the finding one's gift out of seemingly nothing, um, and that was really inspiring to me growing up, um, and. I was convinced at one point that I was gonna get powers at some point later in life. That didn't happen yet. <laughs> yet. Yet. Um, you got the power of all this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> da -da. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like I just like I like superheroes were were the thing that kept me going a lot. I think as a kid and 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 when in the sort of the dark times that I had when I was a kid, it it it, it gave me a light at the end of the tunnel. So yeah. Excellent. <laughs> well, how do you set your mind from a, you know, action animated like this project here versus like a action physical like you did in Uncharted? Um, just really, I guess, getting my my imaginative muscles ready. Um, I have a very active imagination already as it is. So like when re and. So when reading anything, with any kind of script, I'm already starting to visualize it. But even more so with this, I like I love like anything like Lovecrafty and supernatural. So that was really fun to like try to uh, try to imagine and, and and understand the stakes and scope of what because like Kylie, we never. I'm like, can I say this part? It's like, let me think for a second. Um, <laughs> maybe I can. I think I can. Well, it doesn't I've give anything. It. Okay, yeah. I was like, it doesn't necessarily... So we we don't necessarily see her interact so much with the with the with the Lovecraftian elements, but she does very much have to understand the stakes and weight of what's happening. Um, so it's taking, I guess, taking the same thing that I would do in a in a live action sense of trying to make the, the everything truthful and honest but imaginary circumstances so somebody had said earlier like or had asked um, me and Chris the question of like did the did this movie and the doom that came to Gotham did you feel any like resemblance to what's happening in our world and the doom that feels I was like wow that's a powerful <laughs> question and I was like yeah I guess so like it was like that's that is that is exactly what I had to take into my mind in order to be able to put it here because I didn't have external elements to sort of uh, catalyze that. Um, so yeah, yeah, just uh, taking real world and trying to beef up the imagination. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you.